Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I just want to discuss about how to plot your x-axis and your y-axis when a scale is given to you. Now, first thing first, let's read the scale. So, using a scale of 2 centimeters to 1 unit, draw a horizontal x-axis from minus 3 to 5. So, from minus 3 to 5, we have 8 units, right? Because 5 minus minus 3 will be 8. Now, next one. Using a scale of 1 cm to draw 1 unit, draw a vertical y-axis from minus 5 to 5, so we have 10 units. So as you can see, on the horizontal, we have, 10, or we have 8 units to draw, to, to mark, and on the vertical, we have 10 units to, to mark. So what I like to do is, I like to first count how many boxes I have on my vertical axis. So I'll count. Um, so first to understand, what does this mean? So basically what it means is that 2 cm is 2 small boxes. For example, this is 1 box, this is 1 cm, and this is 2 cm. So 2 box, so 2 cm, so this is 2 box for 1 unit, which means if that was 0, this will be 1, okay? Now for this one, for one centimeter, for one unit, so one box will be one unit. So one box, so that will be your vertical axis, this is your x. Your x will be in this direction, and your vertical will be in this direction. For example, here, let's, uh, let's mark down, this is zero. So one box, let's say this is minus one, that will be one unit for one box. Okay, so just to write this down, one centimeter means one box okay so just as you know so on the horizontal x-axis every two box is one unit on your vertical y-axis every one box is one unit so right now you know this so you can plot your graph right so the first thing i like to do is i like to count how many boxes i have on my vertical axis i have one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12. I have 12 boxes and I only need 10 units. So I can count. Basically, uh, I have 12. 10 divided by 2 will be about 5. I can start from the bottom. I count 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's just put a mark here. Okay, now next step is, or you can put the mark here. No worries, put it here. So it's not confusing. Let's put the mark here for about 5. Now one thing you know now is that you have inner space for your y-axis for, for the minus 5 and 5, right. Now for your x-axis, you have to count how many boxes you have. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 boxes. But here, they're saying two box, so two box is one unit. So 16 box will be eight units, and we need eight units. So it is exactly eight, so we have to uh, be careful on how we mark this one. So basically, we're going to begin from the, from the very end, in that case, with minus three. So this will be minus three. So we just have to mark them. So this will be your minus three. So one box, two box will be minus two. One box, two box will be minus one. One, two, that will be zero. So one, two box will be one. One centimeter, two centimeters, two. One, two, three. And continue until five. This is your x axis. And it is given between minus three till five. 4 and 5. Now, the question you may have is, how do I know where to draw this? Can we can it go up or down? So this one depends on your y uh, axis. Since you have seen that we have 12 boxes on the vertical axis, and we only need 10, so we can count from the bottom. Let's say we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So as long as we know we have enough space for the 
minus 5, we are good, right? So that's all we need, basically. So let's continue. Okay, so we count. From here, we just need to have minus 5. And for your vertical axis, 1 centimeter is 1 unit. So basically, one box is one unit. So one box is here. That is minus four, one box, minus three, minus two, minus one, and that will be zero. Now keep going up. That will be one box, two, three, four, and five. And label your axis as your Y. Now if you have any extra space, that is okay. We don't care about that. But this is how you would usually find your, your axis how you will plot your scale. Now just to recap, two centimeter is just the number of boxes. One box is one centimeter and this is two centimeter. So two centimeter will be one unit, meaning if that was zero, one unit will be one. So continue, two box, that will be two. This is what it means for your x-axis, but for your y-axis, one box is one. So that's, if that was zero, if you go down, that will be minus one, one box will be minus two. That is given to you, you have to use that scale to draw your x and your y axis. So I hope that was somewhat useful. And also just to explain, um, so these axes we don't know to begin with, even I don't know how to draw them because I have to test, I have to try and see which one will fit. Only by trying you will know. So you will use a pencil, you can try it many, many times so you can uh, test the values and whenever it fits exactly or somewhat in your graph, you are good to go. But the most important thing here is the scale that they give you to use. So as you can see, once you have that, you can draw your scale and then you can plot your curve. So I hope that was somewhat helpful. And as always, um, thank you for watching. I will see you soon. And of course, uh, good luck for tomorrow. All the best and I will see you soon.